I was born in Durango, in Mexico, and my, my parents also from Durango, Mexico. My parents, my mother was named Virginia Ayon, and my father named Raul Gonzalez. My parents was the best parents. I cannot trade it for anything. So they were hard workers, and I admire the hard work of my Family, I have uh, six sisters and one brother, and my dad has to work really hard in order to provide for us. My dad used to work in the field, you know, on the farm, and he has to leave really early, and we used to, my mom and I, and all my other sister used to make some lunch and take it to work when he was working in the field. Yeah. We were gonna feel my mom work at home. Yes. Taking care of my kids. And then I'd like to see my dad when he would dress up. He was like a cowboy. Dressed up with boots. And he was wearing a you know the the big belt and a gun and a hat. <laughs> and um, the cowboy shirts. We always tell him that he looks so handsome. He kinda liked the compliment. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was little, my favorite thing that I used to go with my mom to to milk the cows, to watch her milk the cows because she used to watch the, um, milk the cows by hand. And she had to tie the legs, the back legs of the cow and put the back of right there like in the legs and sit down like, you know, like all the legs and then keep the back right here and then start milking the cow. And I always take a cup and I always want a fresh milk because it was for me and it was warm and I drink that milk. And the line of the kids, the line of kids was right there to, to get some milk. My sisters and some neighbors come to with a little cup to fill up with the milk. I, I'm very close to my, my sister, Jesus, Martin and Jay and mom. I was very close to her, and she always um, take care of me and my younger sister. She buy whatever, wherever we want, and stuff like that. And I was very close to her. She take us to go buy material to make some dresses, whatever color we want, or, or like in Mexico they celebrate November the 20th of um, November. For um, pray, she used to buy the uniforms and stuff and everything. And sometimes she take us to the tailor that she have. She measure us and make our dresses. I like the pray dresses because they look like we was like in those uh, private colors. It was um, blue skirt with a white shirt. So I like that. My grandma name. Uh, was um, Philomena. One time we go visit her, and uh, she used to live in the mountains, and uh, she used to make her own coffee and the plants. She pick her outside, and then she make her own. And she used to like a really black coffee. Our best friend, her name was uh, Maria. Um, they used to call her Marika, and she was my best friend. We like to go to um, like birthday parties, and then every birthday party we go, <laughs> we go together and we have a brand new dress and stuff like that. The funny story one time, her and I ride the horse, and also the horse take off, and we can stop the horse and we will fall with the face full of dirt. But <laughs> it was funny. When we moved to that part of Mexico, the name Nayarit, we used to live in the island Playa Novilleros, and I was probably nine or ten years old. And we had a lot of fun. I have a friend named Chia. We used to live next door. It was like three houses, but she lived right close to our, our place. And um, we used to 
put the music because my, my dad ran the hotel in there, a small hotel and a little, little store and a little restaurant. And uh, they put the music and it was really big place like a ballroom, but it wasn't windows or anything. It was air out. And then uh, put the music and we started having contest dancing with a little boy that lived next, I don't know, next to her. Yeah, we do dancing contests. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. And then we walked to, to the Long Island. And then they come, those um, tourists uh, come from here. And uh, they take those, those American uh, young men. The parents don't want the young uh, sons to go to the army. And they take it over there to keep it from going to the army. They have all kind of dogs. And they run to the beach because the ocean, the, the beach is really, really long and they run with the dogs. I don't know what kind of dogs. They look like greenhouse dogs. And then we have fun looking at them running with the dogs by, the, by there. Then when they, they done, they come and start making the peanut butter yellow sandwiches. And we go line up over there to get some because we like those. We never eat those before. And the island, it was beautiful. Yeah. We used to chase those some um, what they call cangrejos, but over here they call you know, those things that crawl like that. So, yeah, we used to chase them and they go in the holes and we have fun with them. And then the turtles, they um, have like six, six hundred um, little turtles that they run to the water when they the eggs uh, open. Yeah, we see all those things. It was fun to see all those stuff. The sad story in the island was when my dad um, was going to shoot somebody. <laughs> because, um, you know, it was seven sisters. We pick up water from the far away from the well, and somebody come with a horse, tried to take my sister. He was running with a gun, and the guy saw him, and then he left. He was going to drag my sister. Yeah, me and my older sister used to go pull some water from the from the well, and we had to fill the throw the bucket in the well and pull the water out and fill the big bucket and then make a, a you know a rag, make it in a, like a round thing, and put it in the head and put the bucket over here to carry the water to the house. My mother used to make um, like empanadas. Um, pumpkin pies, do they call here? She used to make that and she used to make bread. But the bread is like kind of like Portuguese bread, uh, yes, plain bread. She make the, the bread like sweet. She used to put like brown sugar and, and make a, the flour rice and make the empanadas and the bread. I like that. Way pumpkin. Yeah, my mom, my mom used to make um, fresh tortillas. They used to make it like, uh, they call metate. They mm, smash the, the hominy and the thing, and the metate, and then uh, make the, the masa. And then she started making the tortillas by hand. And when the meat was cooked, like turn in around and get ready to eat, it looks like grease and stuff like, from the meat, and we pick up the tortillas from there fresh, and then uh, she smash it with the meat and give us a whole bunch of tortillas with grease of the meat, because uh, we like it like that. So we eat all the tortillas by the time she finished, all the tortillas were gone. Yeah, my mom passed away when I was 17 or 18. My mom was very strong, very strong lady. Yeah. She take care and she mean business. <laughs> yeah, my dad don't discipline us. She did. She did all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I um, I moved to the city in Mazatlan, and then I started working in the pharmacy. Um, 
I always, I always want to be a teacher because I have a, a teacher that was really, really nice and, I, and help us. And I always want to help other kids. And Professor Alvaro, yeah. I always remember him. He was very, really good. I love school. Hmm. I like math and I like uh, history. Hmm. My dad showed up on my work in the pharmacy when I was working and he told me I had to come to America with my sister because my sister was coming over here. And I really don't like to, don't like the idea because I was comfortable over there. I was working and I had a lot of friends and I had fun over there. Finally, after my mom passed away, I was felt better a little bit. And I had to come over here with my sister. My sister had a boyfriend and then she had a baby. And my dad don't like the boyfriend. I don't know the reason, but yeah. So she, he went to send it over here and then that's why he wanted me to come with her. And I had to leave. Even I don't want to obey. I had to obey. I guess. I get a job in those uh, factory making Levi's and stuff. And uh, I, I was working over there. I take a bus every morning and I take, I go to work. And then one day when I come back from work, she wasn't there, she left. And I was there by myself. The boyfriend come and pick her up and take her back to Mazatlan. So I got here by myself. I was, you know, too young. You don't know what to do. I got here and I'm still here. Sometimes uh, I used to get sad because I had to leave all my family over there like kind of like Joseph and come over here and I don't have no family here. When I raised my two kids um, alone, Mother Bernice and, and Raul, I had nobody. I knew babysitter, I don't have nobody around. So I had to figure it out myself, how to do things uh, and learn and learn. But it was hard, but yeah. But I guess God, um, do things for purpose because if I was over there I didn't come to know him so that's the best part. Um, we used to go to Bible study uh, when I come really strong to come to God it was when um, when Moses got really sick when he born he was like four weeks old when he got really sick of uh, pneumonia and he, um, he um, I take it to emergency room and uh, the doctor um, go like that with him, moving and moving, like he was dingling him. And he was, I see him like dead. And it was very hard. And uh, I was praying, well, I don't know God at that time. But uh, a lady passed by and, he said, and she said, you want me to pray, pray with you? And I said, yeah, because she see me and I was very upset. And, and uh, I see Moses uh, gone, like, like a rag. And the doctor don't want him to, to fall asleep because, because he fall asleep, it was it. And the doctor keep him going like that. And then they prepare him and take him in the ambulance and the helicopter to Oakland Children's Hospital. And they, they keep him there for, uh, um, like a, more than a month, yeah, but he, was, we, he wasn't moving or anything. They had a wire him everywhere. And um, one day we go to the Bible study with a very holy lady. Her name was Flossie. We go to the Bible, Bible study and, uh, <clears throat> and then she prayed for me over for, for, that, for Moses. And then she told me, don't worry, um, God answer your prayers. And uh, whenever you walk in the hospital tomorrow morning at seven, uh, the young doctor gonna come to you and gonna say, this is 
a miracle because nobody be, be better overnight like he did. When I walk in there, I'll come out and say, nobody give better overnight like he did. One side of the lungs is clear. Get bad, he's gonna be okay. You don't worry about it, he'll be okay. And exactly what the lady told me in the Bible study, that happened and that's how I come to God very strongly and I said, I'm not moving from here, I'm gonna stay in the blood. God raised him from the dead. Yeah, that's the story of Moses. That's what I said, Moses, um, God has something for, for his life because he didn't do that for no reason. He had a purpose, purpose in his life. And then the other miracle was Jesse. Jesse, I used to, he born with the legs like, again, like crooked. Yeah, he was walking and he used to trip and fall. And we used to take it to San Francisco to put cast and, and then every six months we go to change it. And then all said they give it like plastic shoes and put it inside the tennis shoes so he can fix the, their leg. And one day in the Bible study, it happened the same thing. They pray for him, and I have my eyes open when they pray, and I see the, the foot um, straight. He, he thought it was a Spider-Man. He used to run around and jump on, climb the windows, and jump on top, jump on top of the sofa. And um, the, the good part, uh, he never get hurt. I don't know, he had a finger of a spider and he, he grabbed everything like really tight and he never pulled on and he ran really fast. Yes, he was uh, riding the Spider-Man, yeah. But he's a good kid, he's very respectful. I'm very proud of him, yeah. He had very, a lot of respect for me, yeah. I'm very proud of my kids. So they're hard workers, they, um, they know them the money don't come free from them. Nothing is free. They had to work. Most of them work two jobs all the time. And yes, he work all the time. Wow, never complain. He worked 10, 12 hours a day and he, he don't mind. All of them, Bernice, working all the time. They're hard workers. Yeah, Rao have a different personality. I, what I love about him, that he, he helped me a lot. When Moses was in the hospital, he drive me every 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 time I need to go, and uh, he was too young. He probably was like 16 or I don't know how old, 15 or something. He drive over there, and we stay over there in uh, Oakland, um, across the street from the Oakland and the hotel, because we had to go visit and see whatever the doctor need. And we had to come home every week to wash the clothes and, and go back. And he was like a, like a parent, but, but he helped me a lot. He, he's really, really like, you, you can, um, well, you can be like tired, but he never complained. He, ne he never said he's tired and he's really strong. If he would have a money somebody need, he give it to him. One time we come from Barstow or from Silver Lake and um, they start to put gas, and the guy, and the guy pulled on the, on the gas station. He said, "You guys, um, I have all this jewelry. You guys need it. Um, I need, I need money. I need to go to. I lost my wallet. I need to go to Texas. Um, can you help me out with a little bit of money? I give you all my jewelry, a hundred dollars, whatever. Michael pulled the money and gave it to a hundred dollars. He said, "I don't need your jewelry, but they can." If they, somebody needs something, they don't care who it is. They can give it a shirt and what? <laughs> sure less. Yeah, that's the way they are. They, they, that's the kind of person. And um, yeah, and Bernice, Bernice, I have a really sweetheart. She's she's very good. She's so nice. She's she's so. I can I don't have words to explain it. She's she has a really good heart. She's sweet. Yeah, and um, Melina, she's strong. She she have a 
my character, really. Even with the students, she put it very clear there. Yeah, she don't let know what it's like. Yeah, she's, she's like that. She has a strong character. Yeah, and um, Moses, he's, he's very nice, though. He's, he's good. If you need something, he, he can give it. So, yeah, they take after my day. My day was very generous to the neighbors, to everybody. And my grandkids, I love them. I love all of them. I am proud of all of them, my kids and my grandkids, and I'm blessed with all my family. They're, they're, they're all the blessings. Yeah, that's my blessing. You wanna make my, my day all day? Because he talk a lot, and he act like a grown up. And, um, and he have ideas like a, he's a grown up, but he's not. He surprised me all the time. Yeah. And I say, Yona, you the your of the day. You're not here. What am I going to do when you go to school? He said, Why? Why, Mama? I said, Because I'm going to be home alone. I'm gonna, not going to talk to nobody. I'm going to be mute. You talk my ear off. And then he started laughing. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with them. Um, when um, Nikki and Tommy raised um, growing up, because we used to play outside in the yard, um, dash ball, and Nikki always laughed when he hit me with the ball. It was the funny part for him. He hit me with the ball really hard. <laughs> yeah. And I love all my grandchildren. I have um, many grandchildren and I love all of them. I can tell the parents on these days not to be wimpy. The kids need a strong, a strong pillar. And the parents are the pillars, so they have to be strong in order to raise a, raise a family. I always ask God for more wisdom, more of Him because I want to all the time spend more time with God. I always say, God, I want more of you, more of you. Blessing me with more of you. More knowledge, more understanding, more wisdom. And that's the advice I have for parents. If I have to um, give an advice for anybody up there, um, yes, don't give up, be strong. Because if I did it, anyone can do it. Because my life wasn't easy. It was hard, but I did it. Okay. The best thing and the happiest thing is um, yes, to come to the Lord. That's what I always tell the Lord, thank you. Even I go through a lot in my own, I was grateful for that. Can I ask? Yeah, you can answer me. Hello? 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 You ready? How are you doing? You visiting with them, with Abel and Jonah? Yeah, because I went to the bank. Are you almost ready? Yeah. We almost got enough already. Closing okay. shop. All right, you uh, went to the bank. You're going to take me to the bank, too? Oh, uh, you got to go, too? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a little. Are we ready? Are we already back? Is Melina with you? No, she's, she's, she's ready. Okay. She's All right. Love you. Okay, we're we ready. Okay, I love you. Bless you. Love you. See you in a minute. Love you. Bye. Okay. Love you. Bye.